the prices that people are willing to pay for products determines what's produced. The prices that have to be paid for raw materials, for the wages of labor and so on, determine the cheapest way to produce these things. And in addition, these self-same prices, the wages of labor, the interest on capital and so on, determine how much each person has to spend on the market. It's tempting to try to separate this final function of prices from the other two. To think that somehow or other you can use prices to transmit the information about what should be produced and how it should be produced without using those prices to determine how much each person gets. Indeed, government activity over the past few decades has been devoted to little else. But that's a very serious mistake. If what people get is not going to be determined on what they produce, on how they produce it, on how successfully they work, what incentive is there for them to act in accordance with the information that's transmitted? There's only one alternative, force. Some people telling other people what to do.